Ezra chapter 4. Now, when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the descendants of the captivity were building the temple of the Lord God of Israel, they came to Zerubbabel and the heads of the fathers' houses and said to them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as you do, and we have sacrificed to him since the days of Eshardon, king of Assyria, who brought us here. But Zerubbabel and Yeshua and the rest of the heads of the fathers' houses of Israel said to them, You may do nothing with us to build the house for our God, but we alone will build to the Lord God of Israel, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, has commanded us. Then the people of the land tried to discourage the people of Judah. They troubled them in building and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia. In the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, they wrote an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah in Jerusalem. In the days of Artaxerxes also, Bishlam, Mithridath, Tabel, and the rest of their companions wrote to Artaxerxes, king of Persia, and the letter was written in Aramaic script and translated into the Aramaic language. Rahum, the commander, and Shimshai, the scribe, wrote a letter against Jerusalem to King Artaxerxes in this fashion. From Rahum, the commander, Shimshai, the scribe, and the rest of their companions, representatives of the Dianites, the Apocathites, the Tarpalites, the people of Persia and Iraq and Babylon and Shushan, the Dehavites, the Elamites, and the rest of the nations whom the great and noble O-Snapper took captive and settled in the cities of Samaria and the remainder beyond the river and so forth. This is a copy of the letter that they sent to him. To King Artaxerxes, from your servants, the men of the region beyond the river and so forth. Let it be known to the king that the Jews who came up from you have come to us at Jerusalem and are building the rebellious and evil city and are finishing its walls and repairing the foundations. Let it now be known to the king that if this city is built and the walls completed, they will not pay tax, tribute, or custom, and the king's treasury will be diminished. Now, because we received support from the palace, it was not proper for us to see the king's dishonor. Therefore, we have sent and informed the king that search may be made in the book of the records of your fathers, and you will find in the book of the records and know that this city is a rebellious city, harmful to kings and provinces, and that they have incited sedition within the city in former times, for which cause this city was destroyed. We inform the king that if the city is rebuilt and its walls are completed, the result will be that you will have no dominion beyond the river. The king sent an answer to Rahim, the commander, and Shimshai, the scribe, to the rest of their companions who dwell in Samaria, and to the remainder beyond the river, peace, and so forth. The letter which you sent to us has been clearly read before me, and I gave the command, and a search has been made, and it was found that this city in former times has revolted against kings, and rebellion and sedition have been fostered in it. There have also been mighty kings over Jerusalem who have ruled over all the region beyond the river, and tax, tribute, and custom were paid to them. Now give the command to make these men cease, that this city may not be built until the command is given by me. Take heed now that you do not fail to do this. Why should damage increase to the hurt of the kings? Now, when the copy of King Artaxerxes' letter was read before Rahum, Shimshai the scribe, and their companions, they went up in haste to Jerusalem against the Jews and by force of arms made them cease. Thus, the work of the house of God, which is at Jerusalem, ceased, and it was discontinued until the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia.